the city radio announcer is drunk tonight. It's part of an experiment to demonstrate the effects of too much alcohol this New Year's Eve. Dan Schillinger is now standing by live with Ken Mills at KTOQ Radio on East St. Joseph Street. Dan? Tracy, the Highway Patrol supervised this experiment here this afternoon in an effort to graphically show you exactly what alcohol does to you. The experiment started here at the KTOQ studios at 1 this afternoon. Ken Mills pours himself a stiff one, one and a half ounces of scotch with just a little ice and water. This was just the beginning. <laughs> the nectar of the gods. <laughs> Put your foot directly in front of it, walk back nine steps, start. Okay, one, two, A highway three, patrolman gave four, Ken the standard five, field sobriety test six, after his first drink. Seven, eight, nine. Not too bad. Throughout the afternoon, Ken went on the air to tell his radio listeners how he was doing. At first, he seemed to be handling the liquor pretty well. But after a whole afternoon of drinking, the story is quite a little bit different. We'll uh, bring Ken on now. <laughs> Ken, come on up here. Uh, how, how are you feeling? Dan, I'm feeling uh, quite inebriated. Quite inebriated. Quite, yeah, quite inebriated. We want to try the test one more time to see right, how you do on the line. Right. Now, how much have you had to drink? Uh, I've had now eight and a half. Eight, eight and, and a half scotch and waters. Okay. Yep. Let's okay. see how he does. All right. I'm off the line. Now you're supposed to pivot and turn. Okay. Oh, actually, I think you did tough. better the second time. Uh, well, I was a little nervous that first time, uh, but that, of course, is true of everybody. But uh, if any message can come out of this particular uh, broadcast that we have done today is if you are in doubt, please don't. And please, let's make 1986 the year that you make the New Year's resolution to take care of your friends. And that starts with friends at home or friends wherever you are. If you're in doubt, don't let them drive or don't drive yourself and have a safe 1986. Thank you. Sounds like good words of wisdom. What did you learn from this experiment this afternoon? Uh, you know, I went into this trying to see if my level was the same as the highway patrol's level, and I found that my own level, uh, when I think that I'm ready to drive, is actually in the level of intoxication. And I want that to be a lesson to people because I'm pretty average in height and weight and whatever to a lot of the people who are viewing this broadcast now. Okay. You uh, sure poured a lot of them down, Ken. Oh, uh, we're we're going to let you go home now. Go uh, to sleep. Thank you. <laughs> go to sleep. Thank you, Ken. So again, the message uh, this New Year's Eve is, if you think you can handle it, you really can't. Tracy? Dan, how is Ken planning to get home? Uh, I have some good news on that score. Uh, his spouse, a young lady we all know by the name of Linda Carter, is coming to pick him up any minute. Okay. Thanks, Dan. Okay. Dan Schillinger, live at KTOQ Radio Studios.